So many of us cleaning our closet since we have some extra time on our hands. I didn't want you to forget that you can't miss cleaning out your lingerie drawer. And today I thought it'd be a great time to just go through lingerie, how to get fitted for a bra, what kind of panties, and, and maybe some special occasion lingerie that everybody wants in their closet. So it's all coming up next, style at a certain age. Thanks so much for stopping by ladies. If this is your first time visiting, a big warm welcome. I'm at uh, Facebook and Instagram styled a certain age and we have a wonderful blog with lots of style inspiration, styleatacertainage.com. And we also have a lot of lifestyle, uh, health and wellness and exercise and uh, recipes. So we have a weekly cocktail and uh, a main or an appetizer. So don't forget to stop by. Today it's all things lingerie because as I mentioned in the opener, we've been cleaning our closets, we've been putting our stay at home time to good use, um, but I don't want you to neglect your lingerie drawer. And sometimes that gets overlooked and we tend to hang on to bras just a little bit too long. And so that's when we kind of start to sag and droop and it just is not a pretty picture because the most spectacular outfit can go awry if we don't have the right bra. And I just kind of look at it like you're building a house. You're building your foundation first. So those undergarments are the most important pieces to your wardrobe and they're oftentimes overlooked. So I thought we would go through like how to fit. And, um, you know, since we don't have the department stores open, I'm gonna point you, you know, where you need to go for that. But I always recommend a twice yearly uh, fitting because your weight could change, you know, it does fluctuate, it goes up or down, or our body changes. Maybe we've, you know, gone through um, some health issues. Um, you know, there's just lots of things that we can fill in the blank there as we age. So for sure, go get fitted twice a year. When life gets back to normal, all the retailers offer a professional bra fit specialist. And that's even, you know, JCPenney, that is Nordstrom, that is Neiman's, you know, Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, all of the major retailers have that. But since we are at home, I'm going to uh, take you through a, just a, a little bit of how you can do it at home. Okay, if you're ready to do a bra fit at home, it's helpful to have somebody that, um, you know, can help you with the measurements. So the first measurement you want to take is underneath your breasts. So you want to have the uh, the tape fit very, very snug snugly. And as I said, that's when it really helps to have somebody come along and do that for you. But you can do that too. So that will be the width of your band. So that's uh, 32 inches or 34 inches or 36 inches or 38. So that's the area right underneath your breasts and that's your rib cage. And then the second one is then you come along and then you take the tape and you put it right on top of your breasts and then you measure that. And for every inch that it is greater than what's uh, under, underneath your breast, you know, your rib cage, so every inch, then that's your cup. So if it's a plus one, you're an A cup. If it's a plus two, you're a B cup and so on and so forth. Uh, but if you really want some help, there's a really great website, an online website, and I actually, I love their bras too. I've, I purchased from them. So they're called Third Love and they take you through step by step. It says 60 seconds. So uh, I will link down Third Love down below and they'll help you out too. And my favorite brand, so there's three that I really, really love. The, the, I mean, well, four. Four that really get my, my vote every time and that's usually uh, what I shop for. And the first one is Simone Perel, just beautiful lingerie. It's a, it's a French company and they just really come along, even for the you know, larger cup size like me, they can come along with some beautiful uh, bras that are you know a little fun and a little bit racy. Uh, the next one is Wacol, and I love them because that you know they just have everything under the sun, and they have um, one of my all-time favorite um, strapless bras, which are very hard to shop for, and we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, Chantel is my third one, and then as I said, I really like Third Love. They're an on online uh, bra company, 
and I just think that they make some bang up bras too. So I suggest washing all of your lingerie by hand. I know that can be you know, a little bit time consuming, but I promise you it really keeps the uh, bras and your panties intact and lasting a little bit longer. And I always use cold water as well. And there's some wonderful, and I'll link some up, there's some wonderful um, detergents out there now that are made specifically for lingerie. And I, I also like to use that. But if you're short on time, then purchase a lingerie bag and then put everything in there and just make sure that your bras are hooked together so they don't snag on your, your panties or the other bras. So make sure that they are hooked together and then your panties, you can throw them all in. I usually divide them just like I do my laundry. So I do my lights and then I do my darks and then I do it that way. And, and of course, many, many machines nowadays have that beautiful delicate cycle or the hand wash cycle. So use that for sure, use cold water. And my biggest tip is to hang them out to dry. I have a beautiful uh, rack in my laundry room and then I just put them out to dry because heat is really what deteriorates any, cold, uh, any of your clothes. And the next thing is we really have to be on top of replacing our bras. And as I mentioned, they are, you, you, we have to have the perfect foundation underneath our outfits. Otherwise, the, as I said, the most amazing outfit's going to go awry. So I stay on top of things and I shop every three months. And a lot of people ask me why. And it's because bras are your hardest working item because you put it on day in and day out and you want that really nice lift and support. And they do tend to start uh, losing both of those as, you know, as the weeks and the months go by. So what you wanna do at the very beginning is to have your uh, bra strap on the first hook when you purchase it, and then over time, then you're gonna move it over so you have a little bit of a firmer fit and it will keep you in place. But again, I shop for bras every three months. So when I go shopping for bras, I look for three types of bras and everybody needs these in their closet. So the first is a push-up bra and that just really gives you, that's for evening wear. And that's, you know, when you, you're wearing, you know, maybe a V-cut dress or, you know, something's a little bit lower cut. And so um, that will just give you just a nice lift and, you know, that kind of pushes you together and it gives you just that nice cleavage. And then the second bra that I shop for, and some of you may not need this, but if you're a C cup or higher, you want to have a minimizer bra. And this is the bra that will help you, like, you know, when you're wearing a, a button up shirt, you know, a lot of times, you know, it'll pull like this. So a minimizer will just, you know, lift you and pull you back so you can wear that button, uh, that button up with confidence. And then the third bra that I always like to have in my closet is a t-shirt bra. So this really kind of gives you just some really nice coverage and some padding so that when you are wearing a, a t-shirt that not too much information is revealed. So, and, and I love those too. So those are the three that I love to have in my closet. Once I have those three specific styles tucked in my lingerie drawer, then I like to look for the specialty bras. And those are the bras that we need when the, the spring and summer um, fashions, you know, uh, enter into our lives and we were wearing like perhaps halter tops and we're wearing you know something that you need a uh, strapless bra for so that's when i get the racer back bra and that's when you know it brings the straps in very very tight up to your neck so you can wear a lot of um as i said a lot of the halter tops and then for a wonderful strapless bra and i said that i would mention which one i like and so that's the wacol halo uh, underwire strapless bra and that's usually what the celebrities wear so those are the two that will typically get you through the, all the tricky spring and summer fashion so and I didn't want to forget to mention because many of us work out and I work out regularly so you really want a nice sports bra to really you know keep you in place especially if you're doing that cardio and there's a lot of you know hopping and jiggling going around so don't forget to put a really good sports bra in your lineup and i usually go to athleta they have just been they deliver just so many wonderful fashion items but they also have i mean that's what they were uh, developed for was their exercise workout gear and I absolutely love their sports bras so as for bra colors i always start with a nude bra or uh, in your case i mean just go with your skin tone so this will give you the ease of wearing those white shirts um, and then you know nothing really is uh, revealed. 
unless you want to be a little bit racy, and I've done this before. I have I uh, went to a special event last year with Mr. Style, and I had a beautiful white eyelet uh, blouse, and so I tucked a very sexy, fun black bra underneath, and black is always the second color I go for. But once I have nude and once I have black in my drawer, then the sky's the limit. There are so many beautiful colors out there, reds and pinks, and there are even some really fun patterns. So go ahead and have some fun with your lingerie, and don't forget to pick you know, a, just a couple of special ones that you can use for special occasions. But since we're talking lingerie, I didn't want to forget to talk about panties. And there are three panties that I always like to get to. And the first is bikinis, the second they call them the cheekies, and then the third are the boy shorts. So the, uh, those panties should cover you for just about any and every occasion. And my two favorite um, choices for panties are hanky panky, really fun and really sexy uh, panties, and notori. So once you've tackled all the basics, and that by that I mean your, your bras and your panties, then you're going to want to have some shapewear in your lingerie drawer. And that's because we have some outfits um, that really require, you know, some extra, you know, uh, lifting and, you know, and, and tucking and sucking in. And so the shapewear that I look for is you want the one-piece bodysuit, and that usually will take you... Um, when you place that under a, like a body conscious dress or, um, I mean, typically I wear that with dresses. And uh, another one that I really like is, a, is a, a camisole that I can tuck underneath some blouses and some of them really, you know, also kind of lift and tuck. And so a slim foot camisole. And then don't forget there are a lot of slips out there and they are, um, you know, full body slips or the half slip that also give you some shape and support. But so that's really nice shapewear that, um, that I like to keep on hand for special occasions. But a lot of times with dresses and skirts, I wear some really fun boy shorts and Waco makes an amazing pair that you put on and they're very lightweight, but it also just gives you some lift and, and tuck. As I mentioned, that's what we like from our shapewear. Spanx is also very well renowned for all of their shapewear. So I tend to, go to Wacol or uh, Spanx for most of my um, special occasion shapewear. So let me just briefly touch on the camisoles uh, before we end. And I like to have a nude, or in your case, skin tone camisole, and that's for the very sheer blouses. And so that just gives you just some, some extra coverage. Doesn't necessarily have to be the shapewear, but just a, just a beautiful camisole to tuck underneath those sheer blouses. I also like to have a tank camisole. So those are the wider straps. So it just gives you a little bit um, more coverage, you know, so you can get your bra straps covered. And then I like to have just some fun lace camisoles. And so I'll get the black or the, the white. And I like to tuck those under maybe a V-neck cashmere in the uh, winter time, or just, you know, slip on a cardigan and then um, uh, and unbutton it. Just kind of a fun look. So I will just remind you to shop every three months for your bras because they're the hardest working item in your wardrobe. And don't forget to be professionally fit at least twice a year. But um, as I said, Third Love will help you through that process since we're uh, uh, stuck at home for a little bit. And um, don't forget to have a little bit of fun with your lingerie. It should be fun, it should be sexy, it should just be that little extra something that you have that really kind of perks you up. So. Um, I hope you like this video. Of course, give me a thumbs up if you did. Share it with a friend. And um, I'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks so much for stopping by.